People, DG, I'm back again. Yeah, now Young Kalechi. Now he was someone the club allegedly rated very highly. Someone which he, I know he went on loan to Venlo and a couple other teams. A lot of that allegedly was due to the fact that he couldn't secure a work permit. We saw him at the Under 17s World Cup for Nigeria. Him and a couple other young Nigerian stars um, put a good account of themselves in that tournament and have gone on to do good things and. Kelechi looked to be one of them that, uh, of course, he was. I'd say it was. It's a case of being out of sight, out of mind, and that obviously he never had a work permit. He wasn't out with the under twenty threes and eighteen, so no one was hyping him like that. But he was one people were looking for. He was one we were told the club highly rate. He was one that is actually away from hype. Was actually making progress because despite the fact he never played for Arsenal at first team level, um, on his loan spells he was mixed success. But he was doing all right. He obviously got called up by Nigeria. Obviously didn't go to the World Cup, but I'm sure he played in a friendly against Atletico Madrid and did all right. So he's putting a good account of himself. And you're thinking he looks to be one of them to get a chance, hopefully to progress the first team and things like that. So it did shock a lot of people when he went to Porto and. Alone, um, with an option of a permanent, shows you the club might be trying to cost cut, save money, and get rid of wages there. Um, and yeah, man, it just shows how quickly things can turn around because he's still young, but I mean, it hasn't gone the way to plan. I know he's getting into the side now, but at the start of the season, he wasn't getting into the side too many times. He's still actually yet to score, and he's got 13 appearances. And how old is he now? At 20 years of age, 21 come June, they have an option of a permanent, primarily at, um, with. Porto's um, B-side. I don't think he's played at senior level yet. You've got to think, what are we going to do with his future now? Because, like I said, you'd be inclined to imagine that his, his, his Arsenal career is done now. If we can make a tidy profit on him, we can. But I think he's going to have a decent c career. I still think he can have ambitions for Nigeria and get into the side. I think he's got excellent technical quality. I think he's got reasonable pace. I think he can be a good player. Now, what's ever been said or what's ever happened between him and his agents and whatever to lead to this point, I'm not sure because this is someone that was spoken about as possibly being in Arsenal's plans for first team in the not-too-distant future and it hasn't happened. And like I said, Porto have an option of a permanent, so are they going to take that up? Um, I don't think they will. Again, I'm not watching Porto religiously. I'm definitely not watching Porto B-side religiously, so I'm not too sure. And I don't work for the club, so I don't know they're thinking... But I'd be inclined to imagine he's hardly hit, he's hardly hit mad heights or... or, or earned rave reviews out there so far so you'd like to think they're going to let him go or maybe they do um, conclude let him stay permanently and they do have plans for him and he can stay permanently and they can progress to the first team i'm not sure either way i do think is well we we know his arsenal career his arsenal career here, here is over before it's already begun sort of thing um and he's sad, man, really. I would have liked to have seen him get a chance. And I hope he goes on all the way. But I don't think his loan spell at this moment in time looks too promising. And if you're honest, we've got a new manager in in, in Uno Emre. And we've got several things to sort out. He'll probably clip him, to be honest. I mean, I'm all for a young player. So hopefully it's not the case. Hopefully he gets a look in. But can't rule it out. So, yeah. That's all I wanted to say, to be honest with you people, because you're looking at Bielik and Kelechi, they're two that probably just both need to make a decision over their futures if they haven't already. It's part of me for shaking the screen, people. That's all I wanted to say. I'm not going to keep you lot here any longer. So on that note, people, thank you for watching and rocking with Deluded. I'm the best at this. Comment, subscribe and do the rest. I'm out. And I shocked, shocked, shocked. I made the screen shake again. I'm out.